this one is a patron vote winner and one of my faves wow. is Jethro Tull. I like the blues influences on this. Yeah. <laughs> okay, before we get into the next section, you can already hear that kind of chugga chugga uh, locomotive, what's well, called locomotive breath, and you can hear that kind of ch words Beth you can hear that sort of train rhythm going chuk, chuk. <laughs> you get it <laughs> not here though wait oh we're really getting now but faster It's so smooth. He stole the but a train won't stop going to slow down. I really, this is really interesting because often um, you get a lot of folk influences with Jeff Hotel, but this is really blues influence and it makes sense with the train because there's loads of train imagery used in blues, uh, loads of blues songs have that. Um, and uh, Ian Anderson was like, that's where he got a lot of his influences, but you can hear how he's taken that a little bit into his vocals with the little slides. Na -na and a little pentatonic scale in there. Um, I love how smooth he is going up to those high notes. He went up to a high note on the word feel. I'll zoom back a bit so you can hear. But it was so smooth. Um, and one of the keys to this, an E is a really interesting vowel. It makes you want to close your mouth if you're like E, especially if you're American or um, eh, some British accents really close on an E vowel. Um, but he, what I often say to my pupils is when you're trying to keep a kind of speechy sound is keep your vowels as similar as possible so once you find something like an ah the shape at the back of your mouth if that works really well for you try and maintain that shape when you are changing vowels and changing words and he does that really really well so let's ha go back and have a little listen to that we're gonna go back to like maybe 105 104 let's go I'll point it out when it fails, he actually changes it to an uh instead of feel and closes his mouth. Fails so he can open his mouth a little bit more. The slides. You can still hear the Britishness in his voice, though. You know what, I'm really impressed by his um, runs on this. Na, na. 
like those little slides um, with the run coming off the end. He's got quite a few little runs in this and they are so slick. And it's so easy to kind of smudge over those, especially when they're short ones like that, you know. <sighs> just making it like a bit smudgy but his are really precise and if you want to get good at these uh, the key is slowing it down and just being really precise with it slow and then speeding up speeding it up and um, I always feel like you can you know you can feel it in your voice when you get it right it feels like you're creating little steps each note has its own separate space whereas when you don't quite get it right oh, it just kind of slides away <laughs> Love it, love it, love it. It's so percussive, I love it. Can you hear how he's using his voice throughout that? So his voice is going through the flute. Let's go back and hear that. So he's getting that through the mic as well. expressive is wonderful and um, I have a little tip for woes and o's often we think of that as an o vowel oh um, that can sometimes cause problems and sometimes people find that a really hard vowel so think of it like an ah whoa and just add that o onto the end so whoa rather than whoa can kind of get us a bit stuck especially on those high notes and um, now this is an interesting song because it's actually about overpopulation who would have thought and i've got this really amazing quote it was my first song that was perhaps on a topic that would be a little more appropriate to today's world. It was about the runaway train of population growth and capitalism. It was based on those sorts of unstoppable ideas. Well, I think that uh, that those ideas have not stopped, so uh, he was absolutely right. <laughs> I love all this interesting uh, time signature changes. I don't want to stop, I want to hear the rest of the solo, but do you feel like you get that feeling of the runaway train. I feel like in some blues music, the that theme is a little bit more stark in the instrumentation. It's interesting because you have those change of time signatures, which kind of brings you out of it and then brings you back in, but you still have that tr 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 in the drums coming through most of the time. Um, and I really like that. I really love themed music when you bring sounds from outside life um, and put it into the song to portray a theme that really works for me <laughs> Okay. Oh, 
Oh, I like how they make it like out of control. And that's really cool on the flute, what is it? Like the choo 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 train. love Ian Anderson and Jeff Rutel's really inventive and very um, soundscapey orchestrations and I love that they make you uh, really move into a visual world of what they're trying to portray or it does certainly for me I don't know if you agree thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed if you did please do like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one Bye.